Hello everyone, my name is Bakis. Welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today's tutorial will be on how to make a romper dress, a jumpsuit, or a play suit for a girl. You can also use this method to make it for yourself in case you want to make it for yourself. And trust me, it will come out so beautiful. Now, I have one yard of fabric here, just one yard. So if you have any leftover fabric, you can always make one for your girl. Now, the first thing is the total length of these play suits. For me, I'm going to make it 18 inches. 18 inches is okay because it has to be short. You can also make it a long jumpsuit. It totally depends on you. The most important thing is the easy method to make it. So since it's 18 inches, it will be divided into two. First, the upper part and then the lower part. The first, which is the upper part, will be the... That would be 8 inches. I'll just make it 8 inches while the lower one will be 10 inches with some total to 18 inches. Now, since we've known that, then you need the chest circumference of the girl or yourself, which is 28. I'm going to make use of 28. So once I divide that into 4, that will give me 8. That will, sorry, that will give me 7 inches. That's 7 inches. And remember, you have to add extra 1 inch for side seam allowance to that. So that was going to make it 8 inches. 28 divided by 4, that is 7. Then plus 1 inch size seam allowance, that will make it 8. So here I have 9. I just folded 9. But you should actually fold 8, which is okay. Then we have to start the measurement. And if you are new to this channel, you're welcome. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe so as not to miss out on any of our tutorials anymore. So the first thing now, I'm just going to trade the line so all my measurements will be done upward remember i said i want it to be eight inches with seam allowance included that is for the horizontal measurements remember it coincides with the vertical measurement which i said would also be eight inches remember it is 10 so eight for the upper part 10 for the lower part but remember you will need seam allowance to attach this to the lower part so what I will do now is to add extra one into it to make it nine inches. So I'm going to measure nine and make it into a straight line. Now having done that, the next thing is to go over the horizontal measurement again. Remember I said it will be eight inches. So this is eight. This is what I have. The next thing now is for the armhole curve. Like this is like an off shoulder, the same way you want to cut an off shoulder because it will start from like half of the girl's um, shoulder measurement. But I'm going to leave it like this because it's a play suit. By the time the elastic gathers it, you still want to have excess volume. So that is why I'm actually using as much as this measurement. On a normal day, you should take away like two inches away from it. Remember, we have to hem the upper part and then, because I said I want excess, you don't just want it straight because it's a place, so you still want some volume. So that's why I'm going to maintain this length of the upper part, the basic bodies. So I haven't done that now for the uh, ham hole measurement. So I'm just going to come down by three from here. So I came down by three, and then for this part, I'm just going to make use of four inches. Remember, a normal shoulder measurement for a girl of three, four, five, you can make use of five. But because this is a play suit, and then you don't want to start from the end of the shoulder, so I'm not going to make use of five, so I'm just going to make use of four inches. So this is what I have, then I'm just going to connect it straight down. This is what I have. Then for the neckline, you can decide how low you want it to be. I can just make use of two inches. So I will just I think I'll just use one and a half because I don't want it to be too low. So one and a half is just okay. So this is one and a half here. So it depends on the neckline you want to use. That totally depends on you. 
this is just okay. Can you see what I have now? The next thing is to cut it off. I'll now have to use this panel to cut out the back panel. You could just cut it together. Looking at it, this is what I have. Can you see that? So I'm now going to fold again to use it to cut the back panel. I'll just use this lower part again to cut the back panel. Let me just fold it over and check if it will be okay. So it's okay. Make sure this folded part is aligned with the one underneath it. And I'll just cut this out. Now this is what I have, so for both the front and the back, and you see that's both the front and the back, so we are good to go. Now it's time to cut the lower part. Now I've folded for the lower part, so this will be the baseline. Remember I said I want the lower part to be 10 inches? But I'm going to add extra two inches to it because we are going to hem the lower part as well as the upper part, joining it to the main bodies. So I'm just going to measure 12 inches upward. Now we are making use of this part. Now, we are going to use the same measurement we use for this upper part here because everything has to match up after joining it together before adding the elastic to it. That was 8 inches with seam allowance included. Now, I'm going to come to the lower parts, then make it add extra 2 inches to it to make it 10. Now, this is what I have. Now for the crotch, here we have 8 inches and for the lower part we added extra 2 inches to it, making it 10. Then for the crotch, I'll just make use of 7 inches. Which is here. Can you see that? Remember, this is 10. So here on the crotch area, make it 10. So I'm just going to connect from here down here. Let me see what I have. Good. So the next thing is to connect the crotch. So I'll just use the innermost part to blend up the crotch from here down here. This is what I have. So now that is the crotch area. So you can just cut it straight or better still you can just come in by half or three quarter inch that totally depends on you you but you could leave it straight or better still this way so you can choose either of the two before cutting in so i will go for this slanted line so but you could make it straight but i'm going to go for this then remember, I left um, seam allowance. I left, I had it extra two inches to this length, making it 12 inches. So one and a half will be for the lower part, half inch for the upper part. So I'll just go up by one inch because I'm going to fold it with that, then extend it this way so it won't be shorter. The reason why I did that is this, by the time you fold it over to sew, can you see it matches with this slanted line. That was the reason for that. I'm going to use this to cut out the back panel.
So this is what it, will, it looks like. You might be wondering why I cut it this way. So this will be the side and this will be the middle of it. So I'm going to cut this other side. Now I've placed this on this. Note, when using this, uh, any measurement, make sure it is more. You had enough ease because as a jumpsuit, it has to be, it, has to, it needs a lot of allowances. It has to be bogus. If not, at the end of the day, you won't be able to wear it. So you need so much allowance. So that's why I'm making it as big as this. So it is the elastic that gives it that lovely shape. done with the cutting we are left with the upper part the roof for the upper part. can you see that can you see what i have and this will be for the upper parts both front and back if you don't want to go through the stress of cutting out strips for the upper parts just use the bias strip it's as easy as that so now let's start joining it together the first step to join this now is this this has to be closed first before joining these together. So to make it easier, the first thing is this, just taking the seam allowance. I just used a pressing iron to fold in the seam allowance. Can you see that? So after folding it up, it matches. So that was why I told you to came out the other time. So I'm just going to fold this in first. After that, then I can just close this up. Half an inch is quite okay, then half an inch. Let me go by it again. First, you have to fold up this seam allowance, turn it to the wrong side, then close this up with half an inch. I'll do that to the other one too. Looking at it now, I've hemmed the lower part and then sew the side up. So turning it to the right side, now this is what I have. Can you see that? This is it. The next thing now is to open it up this way. Can you see that? Then I'm going to sew this all through this way, this way, up here. So I want to have something like this. Can you see that? I'm just going to sew the crotch area up. That's the only opening we have left. Let me just do that and show you. Right now, I've sewn the crotch area. Can you see that? And we have a lovely shot. You can even make, if you want to make a simple shot for your girl or your boy, you can just make something like this. And then you put an elastic. This is a very nice play shot for both sets. So I haven't done that now. I'm going to give it a good press. So let's set this aside. Then we'll go over to the upper part. Right side facing each other. Can you see that? So now, before you take the sides, you have to use these, measure this, and make sure the measurement is okay. So here now, I have half an inch left. That means I took in lesser than half an inch I was supposed to take here. So whatever is left, then I'm going to take here. So I'm going to take in half an inch, half an inch on the main bodies. So now for this trade, I, uh, you can use the same fabric to cut it out, but I don't want to go through the stress now of cutting out strip for the neck region and the armhole area. So I'm just going to use a bias strip to finish that hole. So looking at this, if you want it all red or fine, but I think this color will be better to add more flavor to it. <laughs> don't mind me. So the next thing now is to join this side before I finish it up with the bias strip. Right now, I had to change my mind because the easy way to do this is to do it piece by piece. I can always do it if I join it together, but to make it easier. Now, since I'm using this bias strip, what I will do is this. Remember, it is this way. Can you see that? It's like this. So now what you do now is to fold it this way. 
Can you see that? So it's going to be on the fabric this way. So the first one we will have to do will be this neckline. So after finishing with the neckline, we trim it off before we run that or the ham oil area because we are still going to have excess. So what I will do now is this from here. So I'll take to the sewing machine. I can do this without pinning, but you can pin yours to have that perfect shape. Can you see that? Then you keep going. Can you see that? That's how I'm going to run it all through. So firstly, I'm going to fix that of this neckline before showing you how to run the armhole area. Right now, I fixed the neckline and you can see that on the wrong side, right side, it's so nice. But you can take your time to cut out strip of fabric for, for this, it's just okay. Now, the next thing, the same thing I did for this, I'm going to do it for the armhole area, the same way. Can you see that? I'm going to fold it all through. So now, so when you got to this neckline area, you just sew it up. Now, this will be inside. The raw edges of this neckline will be in inside this biastri. Can you see? That was the reason why we did this for, so that all the raw edges will go in. Then after that, you keep sewing the strip. Can you see that? You just sew it so long. So make sure it's long because you want to tie a knot and all that. So I think this is okay. So I'm just going to cut two of this. Can you see that? So two will be for this side. Another two will be for this side. So I'm just going to fix it up then. So I've sewn it, but before we continue, I just want to inform you about the tools. We have the tools available both in plastic and wooden. You can see the pattern master I was using. Then the ham oil curve. In case you are interested in all these, I'll put the contact number in the description box below. You can also see the one meter ruler. So in case you are interested, I will also pin it in the comment, the contact number. Looking at it now, you can see the ham oil area. So I extended the long strip. And I finished the raw edges. After doing all that, I had to take in the half an inch on both sides. So the next thing now is to join this upper part to the lower part. So I'll still maintain it being on the wrong side while this will be on the right side. The next thing now is to put this in this. So now I had to turn this upside down. Then the shot goes in. see that you can notch the sides to know where to attach it but because the crease is so well formed I don't need to do that so I'm just going to do this and this can you see everything matches can you see everything matches can you see that so I'm just going to sew in half an inch all through or if you left one inch just take whatever seam allowance you to I'm just going to sew it all around before adding the elastic. Right now, I've sewn it up. This is what I have. So on the right side, this is what it looks like. Can you see that? So the next thing now is the elastic to give it that shape. You can see it's looking beautiful already. So what I'll do now is this. First, let me talk about the elastic. Now, remember when we divided the circumference of the chest by four, we had seven. So just take away one from heat, that makes it six. So six times two, you have 12. So you just need to cut out uh, an elastic of 12, then add extra one inch for seam allowance. So that will make it 13. Or better still, you could make it 15. But that was what I did. So looking at it now, I just closed the elastic this way. Can you see that? Just place this on this. Use um, a zigzag stitch on your domestic sewing machine to do that. So I haven't done that. Now it's time to fix the elastic. So I haven't closed it up this way now. So what I will do is this. Put in the elastic this way. 
and you see that so just take one side make sure you get half of it so this let's say this is one point the other half will be somewhere here so I'll just place this at the side in the one side pin it down then I'll take the other half pin it down to this other side See that then I'll take to the sewing machine and you see so you take it this way and you see that so you start sewing from here so as you are sewing it you are pulling this is the other end so you just pull it can you see that so as you are sewing it you are pulling it adjusting with your fingers can you see you pull it this way that's how you just sew it all around let me just do that and show you the final look. I haven't picked the elastic. This is what it looks like. Can you see that? Can you see that? So I'm just going to turn it to the right side. Now on the wrong side, uh, sorry, on the right side, this is what it looks like. Is this not beautiful? Please tell me if it's beautiful or not in the comment section. Like tie knot. A child of a designer has to slay always. Can you see the? Oh my God! If this tutorial has been really helpful, please give me a giant thumbs up. Giant thumbs up. I say that again. In case you are interested in our online classes, we have them every month. July is starting very soon. Also, contact us through the contact number below. You can see this is beautiful. So make sure you make this and share with us on our Facebook group, Sewing Innovation. Tag me on Instagram, Blakey Signatures. I will say bye for now.